freshmen learn about Romeo and Juliet. And another black history profile. All today on On, on the, the Air. air. Hi, I'm that guy, Joey Carr. And I'm Lexi McPherson. All week, freshman English students have invaded McGuire Hall to create their own parodies of a Shakespearean classic, and I was there. Hi, I'm Joey Carr, and I'm at Richmond High School where the freshmen are putting a twist on the typical story, Romeo and Juliet. I like this project because we don't have to sit in the classroom and read Romeo and Juliet right out of the textbook, and we get to like kind of put our own thing into it. I got to catch up with the English teacher to see what this project was all about. The Shakespeare Parody Project is a really cool project that the kids get to do around this time each year. It's a 200 point project and what's really neat about the project is that they get to use McGuire Hall as you can see around me here and they get on stage, they get to create a parody over three scenes over the play and they get to uh, bring Shakespeare live on play in a variety of ways. Some kids use uh, robots, some kids um, go back to the 70s, some kids do rap battles on stage. It's a really fun, creative, uh, kinesthetic and uh, retrospective project and we have a good time with it. Teachers and students included. This is Joey Carr signing out. Today we continue our look at black history with someone who broke boundaries in professional basketball. Doug Cooper was the first African-American NBA player to be drafted. He was drafted by the Boston Celtics. Chuck was born on September 2nd, 1929 and he grew up loving the game of basketball. He went to college at West Virginia State College, now known as West Virginia State University. In 1950, he accomplished his dream of playing basketball as he was drafted. He played for Boston for four years before getting traded to the Milwaukee Hawks. He finally ended his career one year later with the Fort Wayne Pistons. He ended up with All-American second team honor for his rookie year. Let's check in with Adrian to see what's going on around RHS. Driver's Ed sign up, your chance to support BPA and more including this important info for seniors. Seniors, the honors and awards applications are now available. These are the local scholarships just for Richmond High School students. Please see Mrs. Porter for your application. All applications are due Friday, February 27th. Attention BPA members, there's a mandatory state qualifier meeting tomorrow after school in room C211. You will turn in fundraiser money and discuss additional opportunities for students attending the state and national conference. And there is still time to help the BPA by supporting their fundraisers. You can buy popcorn from Popcorn Palace in a wide range of flavors and sizes. Or you can buy a take and bake pizza from Mantino's. Pizzas are 16 inches and come in cheese, pepperoni, and supreme. Each pizza is $10. The last day for orders is tomorrow. Also, remember it's time to get signed up for the third annual Shamrock 5K. The run is March 7th and you can sign up at speedyfeed.com. There will be another meeting of the Morrison Reeves Anime Club next Wednesday, February 11th from 5 to 6 p.m. This meeting will be game night and have games and more. Any students aged 13 through 19 is welcome to attend. Looking for a snack? The Travel Club will be selling candy and snacks outside the main office and in the Tiernan Center to raise money for the trip to Costa Rica. Watch for them after school in these two locations. And yes, they'll have Flaming Hot Cheetos and more. The 2015 Boys and Girls Track season officially starts two weeks from Monday, on February 16th. Until then, there's track conditioning after school on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Hitson in room 309. And our last announcement today is from HOSTA. The drive to raise money for blood cancer was a success and raised over $400. Congratulations to HOSTA and Donnelly Rogers for creating the fundraiser. Thank you, that's your announcements. Back to you guys. Here we go again. Macy, is there really snow coming in tonight or will it be another near miss like over the weekend? No, this time we should actually get some snow, but just a little bit. Clouds start to roll in later today as temperatures are a little warmer. Highs reach the mid to upper 30s. Some wintry mix and snow will move in late in the day and tonight as things cool down, it's very possible we could see some snow by the time we get out of school. It's a quick moving front, so it should only leave us with maybe an inch or two of snow by later this evening. But along with the snow comes cold temperatures again, 
Lows tomorrow morning will be in the single digits and will only make it into the mid-teens by late in the day on Thursday. Overnight into Friday, it won't change much, only dropping to the mid to low teens before warming up back again on Friday. Highs for Friday will be back in the mid 30s before getting even warmer for the weekend. Check back in with us on Friday just to see how warm it is and if it stays dry this weekend. I'm Macy Thornburg with your Richmond Red Devil forecast. Things are slowing down for winter sports at RHS. Let's get a Red Devil sports update. That's right, another sport is heading into sectionals and another team has a home meet tonight. We want to wish our girl swimmers good luck as they'll compete in the first round of swimming sectionals tomorrow night at New Palestine. And also, good luck to RHS gymnasts who are at home tonight against Muncie Central. That's sports. Back to you guys in the studio. That's our show. Don't forget to support the BPA fundraisers before they end tomorrow. And we just found out late this morning that the girls basketball team is playing at home tonight for senior night. Come out to Tiernan tonight and support the senior players. And as we close, here's another look at just one of the many English class parodies of Romeo and Juliet. Have a great day. Now we're doing a... Uh, Barbershop grill session. So, how about those Montagues? Don't even say nothing to me, boy. I am gonna say something to you, boy. You look like a naked mole rat. Do you grill me, sir? We do grill, but we do not grill with you, sir. You want, sir? I am. I'm a good grill. If you want to grill, then we can grill. No, don't grill us.